and visit their loved ones have if, if they have passed away. Hi there everyone, Will Trafford again here for Focus Live and I'm joined by Mahagala and her son. You've just come out of a meeting, a community meeting, Mahagala. What did they tell you in there? Sorry? What What did they tell you in there? They told uh, us yesterday night uh, he's died already. So we, we are going to see him after one hour, around one hour. And we hope we can finish everything today. And I, I understand because of the Muslim faith, obviously, you would like to get him buried first. Can you talk to me a little bit about, he's, he's your friend and he's also from Egypt. In yeah, fact, when you arrived in New Zealand... In fact, we, we lost many people from Egypt, uh, around fa five people. And we are a small community, so we are uh, like a relative. Munir Suleiman has taken us from the first day in this country, from the airport. He is a very kind man. I think all of Egyptian community lost him, really. But this is a life, yeah. And so you found out last night by police they notified you that he yes. had passed away. We were lo we was lost him, and we 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 just yesterday they tol told us yesterday he is died, yeah. And they said you could go visit him in the hospital now. Yes, but after one hour. Now, your son, who's standing by you, also tragically lost a friend yeah. in the mosque. Tell us yeah. about that. Yes, he's... Uh... It's really weird. This has come out after, what, six, seven, eight years? All we watched on the news is Muslims killing people all over the world. Especially in London, right? Westminster. All these Muslim attacks, right? Charlie Hebdo. France, Spain, right? And I'm just, to me, they were, they were all bullshit anyways. But just the fact that they've been forced speeding down, you know, I mean, so bad in England, Muslims with fucking knives jumping out on the bridge, stabbing people, right? Some lady throws herself off the bridge. Some just fucking crazy shit, right? Muslims, 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 right? The USA's got to build a fucking wall, you know, every country's losing its fucking mind. And so after brainwashing fucking people, I guess, I don't know, 10 years or whatever it is, I have to look it up to be more accurate, it doesn't fucking matter. But pretty much programming and brainwashing people that Muslims are flooding into their fucking country, right? Raping and killing and robbing and assaulting, Right? This is what they've been telling everybody every fucking day on TV. And now this guy, which I don't believe it's fucking true. Uh, fuck how good it looks or anything like that. I don't believe it's true. Is, uh, what, taking revenge for all the fucking shit he's been drilled into his fucking head? Really? It's his fault? If I mean, you want to go along with the story that it's true. It's his fault now. Right? You're brainwashed motherfuckers for 10 years. You know, is it any surprise that this would really happen? I don't think it really did happen, but they want you to believe now. Oh my God, look at this. You know, it's fucking unbelievable. Really. It's just fucking, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, f 14 years old boys, he's lost at the mosque. But uh, we, we were on, uh, on the way, we, 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 sorry, stop, I can move talk. She doesn't even sound, she sounds Jewish. It's a Jewish accent. Oh, I, I totally understand, okay. Just, we'll, we'll let you go to the hospital now. Thank you so much for stopping, and, and, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Again, everyone, um, just repeating so we hit some of the lanes. situation down here in Christchurch. Family members here. have just, just come out of this community. But we hit they that, so we just keep going to each one, then we hit this one, brought us to here. This keeps going up if you keep clicking on the motherfucker, too. The it does. They've been told that yeah, within right. the hour they can It'll go keep and going visit the their up. loved ones have, if, if they have passed away. Um, and obviously this situation continues to develop throughout the right. day, so we will bring you breaking one. news on nzherald.co.nz. But a lot right. You just keep hitting that fucking link. And I'm talking, within seconds, it just keeps going the fuck up. 
they're all different. Anything that says project, the number's just a fucking change in right, at, right in front of your eyes. It's fucking crazy. So the government, this is how they fucking launder a lot of their money. Put it into these bullshit fucking GoFundMe pages. You know, this give a little, right? This is a good one. This fucking, this thing here. How they're going to spend the money, right? You don't even get the money. They're going to decide how to use the money. Just saying, here's the money. Use it as you need it or however, you know? Right? It'll be used to support the victims and their families. Right? It's not for victim supports regular operating costs. The fuck? You know, it's all wording. It's all bullshit. So they'll decide who gets the money, how much you get, whether it's important enough. It's all fucking bullshit. It really is. That changed, right? Get back down. 48. That stayed the same. 404. Well, even that fucking changed. Ah, 481. 482 look, jumped up. Fucking crazy, right? So you freeze it in time. Just to show you, I'll put the link up. You just need the link to the first page. And then just keep clicking on all the links on each page and just bring you to all this bullshit. Always a fucking this shit was up. Man. As soon as I saw it, the shooting, they hit the GoFundMe a couple hours afterwards it was up. The fucking GoFundMe page was up. You know? A couple hours. Lot of incredibly distraught families today here in Christchurch as the realization of what has truly happened is beginning to kick in. Bye for now. Yeah, I have now. Then now, Queer Prime Minister, we write to you on behalf of Makoto Marae Māori Trust regarding the special housing development at Ihumatau, Tamaki Makoto. Our trust is the mandated body for Ngāti Tiahiwaru established in 2004 to support our Marae Reservation and Hapu community at Ihumato in keeping with cultural tenets. Going back five generations, <coughs> our people have suffered the loss of wahi tapu, significant maunga, as well as traditional fishing grounds to oh, meet... Lord. Fucking bullshit. It's all fucking crazy. It really is. Crazy.